Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a superhero portrait effect in Watershed Filmora. Okay, so let, like what you have just seen at the beginning of the tutorial. And I think it is very easy. Okay, so let's go to my computer screen. Alright, so now I'm on my computer screen and this is my example project. Uh, as you can see here, I have some background music and some uh, background to use for the for the bottle bottle effect and i have a clip of me uh, pointing at the bottle okay and here i have a superhero cinematic pack elements which is available in the element tab uh, when you install the program okay so let's delete everything on the timeline first okay so in order to create the project i uh, i need to use a clip of me uh, let's drag and drop it onto the timeline and keep the project setting so first thing I want to mute the audio first so I'm going to press shift control shift M to mute the audio then I'm going to play the clip and find the position that I want to keep uh, in my project for example at this position I can just split the clip right here and then I'm going to delete it and ripple delete this section okay and now I'm going to play okay so at this position I want the portal to appear on my screen so I'm going to split the clip right at this position okay and the next thing I want to add an image mask to this clip uh, to this section uh, on my video clip to do that I'm going to uh, select the effect tab right here and then I'm going to find the image mask uh, in the utility folder so we can scroll down here to find the utility okay so here's the utility folder and well, we can search here image mask and press enter okay and now we'll find the image mask effect right here and just drag and drop it to the clip so just drag and drop it onto the clip and the next thing we want to adjust the image mask because we are going to use this image mask as a portal effect okay to do that we need to select the clip or the timeline and click this button to show the property okay so at the property we need to go to the effect tab right here okay and select the image mask and now i can resize it or resize and position of the mask so i can just put it right here and also i will adjust the width of the mask also to make it uh, look like this and the high okay and also move the move the mask uh, a little bit down down here very nice and i also increase the feather of the mask also all right it looks nice all right so for me the mask is okay because uh, this is my portal effect but uh, by the way to show the uh, the bottom layer of the mask uh, we need to click this button invert mask okay so just click on that and now we have a black hole here and next thing uh, let's click ok to go back to my timeline and the next thing we want to add the portal effect to do that uh, we need to go to the element tab right here and now go to my recommended folder and search for the superhero okay and enter you will find some superhero portal effect here uh, for example this one and this one or this one so i'm going to use one of them okay so for example i'm going to use this one the superhero cinematic pack all i need to do is to drag and drop it onto the timeline at this position okay and let's play it to here all right and now we need to adjust the, uh, the portal effect to the, the image mask right here. So I'm going to lock my main video track and click on the screen and then I'm going to move it to this position. And also I'm going to resize it. Resize it. Okay. To make it uh, look realistic and fit with the, with the image mask right here. Okay, so let's check it. Very nice, right? By the way, uh, at the beginning of the effect, well, we, we will see the image mask here. So it uh, look a little bit fake. In order to fix this, well, we can do like this. Let's play it. 
Okay, so at this position, I can add a marker to the element. Uh, in order to do that, I can press M on my keyboard to add a marker here. And now I'm going to move the elements uh, to the left. Okay, so just move it to right at this position where the image must appear. And then we can uh, double check it again. Uh, very nice, right? And now the next thing, we want to add a background video or a background image to the portal effect. Uh, okay, so for this example, I'm going to use my stock media here. And let's select a stock media. Go to piece of bay. Uh, no, I'm going to select my downloaded folder. Okay, so I'm going to uh, select this one, the, uh, the white cat. So I'm going to put it uh, right here at the bottom track. In order to do that, uh, I'm going to select everything on the timeline and move them up one track. And now I'm going to drag and drop this uh, white cat to the bottom track right here. Okay, so let's put it right at this position. And let's play, play the portal first. Okay, so we need to align the, uh, the cat so that it will be in the portal uh, area, okay? To do that, we can just uh, hide this track and lock it and also lock this one, uh, the element. And now I'm going to click uh, on the cat and resize it just like this. And then I'm going to move it to the area here. Very nice, right? And let's play it. Okay, it's look cool. Right, so uh, now we can just unhide this one and unhide this one. All right, so that is basically how to create a portal effect in Wondershare Filmora. So let's play the, uh, the effect. Very nice, right? By the way, in order to add some uh, some cool effect to this uh, clip, uh, we can add some shake effect and also some uh, color grading stuff to the video okay for example when the portal appear we want to have a shake effect like shh okay to do that we can go to the effect tab right here find the filter folder okay so find the filter folder here and we have some shake effect uh, now we can drag and drop the shake effect to this one okay so i'm going to use the H stream so just drag and drop it directly to the element on the timeline uh, and the next thing when the portal appear i want to to change the color of my video to make it a little bit warmer okay to do that we can unlock the video here and then select this clip and select the property and go to the color correction again and now i want to change the white balance of the video so just select it and then increase the temperature okay and here's the final result let's click ok and play Finally, if you want to uh, to have the cat appear uh, smoothly, you can also add a distro transition uh, to the beginning of the clip also. To do that, we can go to the transition tab and find the ripple and distro transition. And now we can just drag and drop this one, the cat, onto the timeline. And finally, you need to export the video and have this effect. Alright, so that is how to create a superhero portal effect in Wondershare Filmora. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any more questions, just let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.